cars in the rain, how are they doing? They're doing fine. These Yokohama Geolanders have sipes in the treads. So as I go down this highway, I feel confidence. I feel great. It's wonderful. I chose these tires for that reason because it rains a lot in Louisiana, and that's an understatement. It rains more down here than it does in Seattle, I think. That's what they told me when I first moved here. And I definitely didn't want to get a tire that was going to slide around in the rain. But it's doing wonderfully. All this rain and no hydroplane, which is great through many puddles and no hydroplane. Steering wheel feels rock solid. Rock solid. I'm very, very impressed. For a mud tire to feel this great in the rain and inspire this much confidence, you got a hit on your hands. That's what it is. Yokohama, Geolander, you got a hit on your hands. And, you know, Everybody's always talking about the F Goodrich and everybody's always talking about Nitto and Toyo and all that, but you know, these aren't worse. I've driven a rig with the KO2s on them and this and that, I mean the KO2 in the dry feels just like this in the mud. This feels, this uh, tire in the mud feels just like a KO2 does out in the desert. Saying a lot, I mean, confidence, confidence, confidence. I never once had fear of getting stuck. As long as my tires were, you know, on the ground, this thing was going. And then turn around and come into this torrential downpour on the highway, on paved roads, and there's no hydroplaning. The noise is moderate to minimal. You know, of course you're gonna hear the howl, but it's not like with, you know, other mud tires. I, I pulled up to a, a rig uh, a week ago and you could hear their tires over these tires and it was like a high-pitched scream. But this, this is just a, you know, it, it's like a gentle roar, but honestly the rain's louder, my voice is louder, so that's not bad at all, but all in all, this tire is great, now the next thing I need to do is try and get them in the snow, it's going to be tough, because uh, I work a lot, but I'm going to try and take some time off and see if we can head to Colorado and really test these out in the snow. I hear that a lot of people do use them in the snow because the side biters are so good. They are not triple peak uh, snow rated. So that's um, something to keep in mind. But I'm sure if we air down, we'll have minimal issues. But that'll be a nice video uh, for the future. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys how good they were in that really bad downpour. Once again, as you see, extreme weather conditions. Very rainy. Once again, as you see, extreme weather conditions. Very rainy. There is standing water on the road. You hear that? It won't hydroplane. It just won't. Going 60 miles an hour in the rain through standing water in the Geolander MTs. No problem. No problem. That siping, it's working. I'm very impressed. I'm very impressed. I feel safe. The steering wheel hasn't come out of my hands not once. The vehicle hasn't moved side to side not once. It's digging into this water with no problems. No problems at all. I hear the water splashing off the mud flaps, but this thing is 
steering true, straight. The steering wheel is not pulling, is not yanking. I don't feel the back end coming out. As far as mud tires go, honestly, this feels a lot like an all-terrain. It's not that loud. Wonderful job, Yokohama. I think you, I just, I just can't sing enough praises of these tires. Look at this. This was a thunderstorm, standing water, about half an inch on the tarmac. I've had other tires, street tires, hydroplane on me in situations like that. And for a mud tire, not even to break a sweat or skip a beat, whatever expression you want to use, I'm impressed. I really am. I feel so safe and so happy. I'm very satisfied with this purchase. Stopping distance is even great. Look at that. I mean, talk about bite. Just bit down. These things are perfect. I don't know what a better test of these tires in the wet would be. I mean, everybody's driving so slowly, they're all scared that they're sliding around. But the geo landers do not care. It's amazing. For once, not the slowest person on the road, but I have complete confidence. They're great in the way. It's almost like they're made for the rain. I'm in two-wheel drive. It's almost like Yokohama said, we want to make a mud tire that's amazing in the rain. That's better than a typical tire in the rain. These feel better than the stock tires did in the rain. I am extremely impressed. They feel better than the stock tires did in the rain. I feel glued to this car mat. In a mud tire. No, I'm not being paid. I paid $1,400 out of my pocket for these tires. And I'm glad I did. I'm glad I did. Look at this. No problem. Easy. Easy. Lemon. Squeezy. Look at this. This is great. I'm going speed limit. Everyone else is slowing down. Because they're sliding around and they feel scared because the tires are not geolanders. Thank you, Yokohama. Look at it. Better than the stock Mitchell in all seasons. I feel smooth down to the ground.
performance of these tires is shocking, actually. I'm so pleased with them. I'm so pleased with them. So, yes, if you need a mud tire and you live in a rainy area, which makes sense, right? Mud tire, rain, rain brings mud, they go hand in hand. Except mud tires are not good in the rain, typically. But this Yokohama G Olander MT G0003 has siping in the treads. So the effect of siping is that the water doesn't pool between the tread blocks and the asphalt. It has a way, uh, has a way to escape in the sipes. The sipes are pretty deep. Um, they're not criss cut like you see in, in a lot of tires or a lot of snow tires and such. But you see the like criss cut um, sipes. They're straight. Um, some of them have like one angle, but I have honestly not felt unsafe driving these in the rain um, at around 60, 65 miles an hour. So that's a win in my book. I think they're great. And for what I use them for, perfect. I do a lot of highway driving in the rain and I can't be happier. So good job, Yokohama. You have a happy customer. You have a wonderful tire. I'm so glad I got Yokohama over the Nitto and the BF Goodrich KM3 because I hear that's not very good in the rain either. So um, the KO2 would have been great if I lived on the West Coast. I would have bought a KO2 because there's not much um, mud out there. But this is perfect for out here and I'm really happy, really happy. So thank you. Um, Yokohama, thank you YouTube guys, thanks for watching, and I'm about to go enjoy the rest of this rainy, rainy ride. I love my truck, and my truck loves me, bye bye.